Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. And last week, we were working on a creation for a creation challenge that was happening on the subreddit for Scrap Mechanic. And now, this week, there's actually another challenge, another challenge. But this time, it isn't a creation challenge. Our job is not to make a vehicle like we were last week. Last week, I think we went ahead and we made Baba Yaga's hut using boots because that was the uh, rule. You had to use boots of some sort in your build. But this week, we're not making a vehicle. We're not using boots. We're not doing anything weird like that. But we're doing something maybe even a little weirder. Maybe. <laughs> which is, we're actually having to do a design challenge, which is different because it's more based around building rather than making funky contraptions and whatnot. And I think that is so perfect because if any of you guys watch my videos a lot, you know I'm the best builder around. I can make all the good buildings from Minecraft to Scrap Mechanic, all the best buildings. But uh, our building that we're supposed to be making for this challenge is a bathroom. And if we actually walk over here, you'll see I've actually started working on a bit of a bathroom here. So the rules for this, there isn't actually any rules really. You just gotta make something that looks like a bathroom. It doesn't need to be part of a house. It can be mobile. It can do anything you'd like it to. But this is what we've got so far. If we walk in, you'll see we've made a little bit of a room here with even some cool curtains, some windows, and if we flip our latch, open up some windows, and we've got a little platform here where I think I'm gonna make a bathtub. Now, I don't really know fully what I wanna do with this whole place, but the one idea that I do have that I think would be really cool would be if instead of just putting a bathtub here, we were to actually make a bathtub that could come up out of the ground. I think that would be super awesome. So. I think that is going to be our first objective for today. I'm thinking we can get ahead, go and get this functioning. I have no idea how difficult this is going to be. My, I have no idea. I could be taking on a task that is much greater than I anticipate, but I'm hoping we have enough room to actually work on this. I know we've got some space here all the way down to there we can even go even deeper i know we've got a lot of space down there so hopefully i'll be able to make this work i really have no idea if i'm gonna be able to but i'm gonna get on with this project i don't know how easy how hard it's gonna be but let's hope it's manageable and uh i'll be back in a bit once i think i've had some progress <laughs> welcome back you guys and uh i just i haven't been having the best of luck with our bathtub. Oh wait. Yes I have. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. Holy crap. Did y'all just see that? Oh, oh my goodness. So good. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. The Wait. Oh my god. Why did that have to happen? This has worked 50 times and now this happens. Oh my goodness. Of course that happened. Okay, well, I guess it was just a fluke because that probably won't happen again. There we go, see? And there's our bathtub! That is so awesome. I- oh my god. I love it. I love it. So good! And then you can even hop in and take a bath. Hey, I'm just taking a bath, guys. Don't look, I'm just taking a bath. <laughs> but yeah, I had has been bad come on in and he gave me a hand in in reality actually i did pretty much all of the technical work behind this he ended up just going ahead and building an outhouse over there <laughs> he ended up r getting rid of it but uh yeah i did this all and it's really really cool i'm really glad with how it came out and actually if we go ahead and run out here we can actually go under the little place here and see exactly how it works and pretty much what I did was I made a scissor lift of sorts kind of how I did with our garages in all the past videos so basically uh, these hinges just turn just right so that this point will go up completely straight and just push the bathtub up so yeah I'm really glad with how that came out but if we run back into the bathroom you'll also see that I went ahead and I made a little bit of a 
area over here. These kind of look like mirrors of sorts. It looks really weird, but I really like that little design I did there for the mirrors. I mean, if there was glass in this game, I totally would have put that there. But for now, this is the best thing, and I think, I think it looks really good. I even did this really neat design down here with the all the cabinets and stuff. And maybe I'll even add actual cabinets that open and close, but I don't know. For now, I think this is looking super awesome. That, oh my god, I just love it. And the little water that's flowing out of the, oh my god, of the little things there. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. And we've still got our windows that open and close when you're actually gonna take your bath so that no one's peeking in. Ooh, good, see it's closed now. <laughs> but what I wanna do next, everyone, is I want to get working on the actual toilet because that's the final and most important thing I imagine is actually having a toilet in your bathroom. But I I had Baz has been bad gave me a little bit of an idea of what might be neat, but I don't want to I don't want to give it away. Yet. I want to wait until we come back and y'all will see the amazingness that I have planned. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get working on a toilet. I'm not sure though if we want to actually use just a regular old toilet or if we want to actually make a full-size toilet kind of like how we actually made a full-size bathtub. I think maybe just using the regular toilet would be fine but it looks so tiny compared to everything so I don't know I'll have to mess around for a while and make this whole thing work and do some neat stuff I have planned and I'll be back in just a bit once I've managed to finish all the stuff and hey he has been bad, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this. He might even give me a little bit of a hand, and we'll be back in just a bit. Okay, everyone, we are back, and boy, do I have some stuff to show you. So since we were last here, before I'll get on to showing you what I do with the toilet, first I want to show you these sinks. Oh my God, look at those sinks, looking so good. We put actual handles in the thing and then look at it we actually have like water in the sink and I love it it looks so cool we did the same thing over here with this sink with a little bit of this with the two nozzles for warm and cold and it, it looks really cool it looks like a really flowing water I love it so much even like right there looks like it's a little bit of a water bouncing up because it's splashing and it, I love it and then over here I went ahead and I put some plants all around here and it's starting to look really cool, giving the place a bit more color, and I really like it. If we bring our little ta our little bathtub here up, you'll see we also went ahead and switched the water over to that as well. So now we've just got these cool little water faucets, and I love them. They're all looking super duper awesome. But now, if we turn around, this is our bathroom where the toilet is, and oh my gosh, I love this. I love how this is coming out. So if we actually go ahead and open it up, it folds in a really, really weird way, but I really, really like that. See? Look at that. It just like folds up. Oh my god, it's so cool. And it turns into kind of a little box here. Oh, I love it. I love it. But now, here's the moment of truth, you guys. If we walk in here and hop on our little toilet, let's get into first person if we can do that. Can never understand there we go okay so if we go into first person like we are right now we're on our toilet and then we press these buttons oh my god it's so good look at that <laughs> i love it so much it's a it's a drop down television and we can shut our door to the bathroom just like that super awesome just look at that. Oh, it's so cool. The drop down television. Oh my goodness. I love it so flipping much. Oh my gosh. We can hop off and we can walk out here and oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so good. Now, if we go on up to our roof, we'll be able to see that I want to. Oh my God. I can't. I can't even stand. I can't even stand on a stupid lift without having troubles. That's. That's me for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so awful. <laughs> but what I did was I basically went ahead and did the same thing I did with the bathtub by going ahead and making a, a scissors lift. What? I can't even speak English. A scissor lift. But I did it sort of upside down so the scissor lift drops it downward. So it does that. 
and yeah it does its job which is super duper awesome so that's what we've done so far this place is coming together so nice you could probably call this place finished if you'd like but I am not done just yet no 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 this thing is coming along so nicely but it's not done just yet no what we must do next is we've got to make ourselves a shower we've got a bathtub we've got two sinks we've got a toilet but we need a shower so I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to go ahead and make this shower in this sort of an area right here or if I actually want to go out into here and break open that wall I'm not sure I really don't know what I want to do yet but I'm gonna get messing around with it and we'll see what I've come up with when we get back and hopefully it'll be amazing ah man guys this bathroom is just off the his out. Such a good bathroom. We got our nice tunes going. We got our nice bathtub. And I even went ahead and I updated these windows to be a bit higher. We got these nice open up windows. They're just, they're so nice. I absolutely love these windows. It's, they're perfect. I, I couldn't have them any other way. Now if we go over here, you'll see that I actually did an update and I finished up this, the shower that I told you guys about now this thing looks amazing just love it looks super cool it's actually that's cool on the uh, the jazz tunes but we can actually go ahead and close our shower door too look at that our shower door is a little sliding door I love it so good look at that that's a nice sliding door it's looking amazing I love it so much and after that, I that's pretty much everything, you guys. I finished up by adding a few smaller details. We went ahead, I threw some lights up here above all of our mirrors. Uh, we threw up a little bit of a towel right there and a rug to step on after you get out of the shower. A little plant there. But that's everything. That's the whole place. We can come in here, use our little TV in our, on our toilet once more. Oh my gosh. This place has come out amazingly. I I cannot understand what it is, but whenever I get going with these little challenges that you have to build, I just get so lost in them. And it's been like probably six hours of me building this and messing around with has been. We've just we've been going at this, building it forever. And my god, I don't know how the time goes. It just it just flies by and I don't know. I hope you did like it though. I think this is a really cool build. I'm really glad with how it came out. The whole interior is just so awesome. I love it. And I hope you guys do like it as well. Don't forget the, you can go ahead and vote on this on the subreddit if you do like it and think it deserves to win the bathroom contest. It's gonna be over there until next Monday. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, it is much appreciated, and leave a comment with your feedback. I always love to hear that. But for now, this is where we're going to head out. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are all on the top of the screen, as well as in the description. But for now, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>